always up against some sort of crazy weather here. And, uh, and that's what I have behind me. It's like a little bit of a summer thunderstorm, but no thunder, no lightning, just kind of a little bit of a downpour. But it is windy. And I just want to make sure there's no snakes over here. We're up here at Barstow, Rodman Peak technically, and the station was having some issues. I think this uh, satellite receiver crashed again. But the sale of the station actually goes through uh, sometime in the next week or so. So to prevent us from having to come back out here to pull everything out, we're going to shut the station down totally and then um, file an, uh, an STA, Special Temporary Authority, to have the station off. And then at that time it transfers over to the new owner and they can do whatever they want to do. In three, two, one, and it's off. So long, thank you for all the memories, all the amazing sunsets, the wild and crazy dirt road. I need to remove the passwords, the emails, the email server from the remote control. So if the station has other alarms or whatnot, it will continue to alarm us. Because again, this is the last visit out here. I won't have an opportunity to do that in the future. So I'm setting the password to, I'm not gonna tell you, but nice try. The remote control has been controlled. Next one is going to be the emergency alert system uh, encoder decoder. And with, the, with that, we need to make sure that it's not going to email me. It's not going to have our password in it. Uh, it's not going to have our email in it. So I just turned the transmitter off actual power switch on the back to turn you off. And um, now it's time to pull our equipment out. Like I said, sad times. Sad times. Now removing our uh, cellular modem that we have here. This was a PepLink um, PepWave, I think it is. I like this. PetWave Max cellular router, the uh, version that you could do four SIM cards with. So this is what kept us in communication out here because there's no internet out here and there's no, um, I mean the only internet you can get is cellular. And, and the cell site's right over there so that helps. But otherwise it's this. Um, all right, so pull that out. We need to pull out our satellite receiver. And that's about it. Let me go stick this in the truck and go get some screwdrivers. Chad's back there right now, trying to unplug everything. It is a very, very tight squeeze back there. Yep. All right, good to go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is there any possible RF damage to me being right next to this uh, gate runner? Can you push it? Huh? Can you push the uh, receiver? More. Ow. Hey, Got hey it. Or nay. Thanks. All right. That's it. It's over. There's no more for us here, and that's and that's kind of sad. I'm gonna miss these views. It's windy and hot. I'm gonna take one last look goodbye. Uh, take some pictures inside the room of all the equipment, especially of the equipment that is being transferred in the sale of the station. And um, 
yeah, one last goodbye and close this this chapter of of life, of the station, of my career. <sighs>watching for this final time that we're going to be here at Barstow Rodman Peak outside of Barstow it's sad I mean lots of memories out here I mean we had the memories of, of that time that Chad and I were out here and uh, probably is that Arizona you can probably see into Arizona there was thunderstorms out there and you can see the lightning and oh that was that was pretty awesome uh, being here at night super clear day or clear night um, full moon and taking these long exposure photos of, of this site um, and, it, and it looks like daylight with stars it was a cool picture um, the time we had to hike well the time I had to hike up here in the snow the time that we took the Polaris up here because of snow um, this whole valley was covered in snow that was pretty cool it was it's sad so we won't be getting out this way anymore this is our last time heading out from our Rodman Peak site a little sad I will admit but uh, hey you know it's a new chapter I keep saying change happens whether for good whether for bad it's gonna happen so you kind of have to uh, adapt. What is it? Uh, adapt, improvise, overcome. Yeah, we need to stop. Yeah, we need to stop. All right, well, we need to stop so Chad can recover the drone. I wonder if I can, like, land it on the roof without being out there. He wants to try and land it on the roof. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. And, uh, oh, you guys did have some suggested... That was a big bug that flew by. You guys had some suggested uh, closings. So, let's try this one out for size. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> All right, bye.